Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been creating this uh, scrollable tabs or scrollable slider using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is how it looks. We can scroll to the left and to the right. And you can also click on these buttons to scroll to the left and the right. And you can also select any of these tabs from here. Now we have designed this based on the slider that you see on the YouTube homepage. Now in the previous video, we added the functionality of these buttons. So this is how it looks right now. We can click on these buttons to go to the next and the previous uh, positions. And we also have added the functionality of activating any of these tabs. But one thing missing is the ability to drag. So if I go to the original design and if I drag this to the left, we are able to scroll to the left. And if I drag to the right, we are able to scroll to the right. So we need to add this drag functionality in uh, this slider. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Let's get started. Now for the drag functionality, we have to take into account three different event listeners. Now let's break down what we do when we drag. The first thing we do is press down the mouse button. And the next thing we do is move the mouse. And the last thing we do is leave the mouse button. So these are the three event listeners we need to listen to. The first one is called mouse down and the second one is called mouse move and the last one is called mouse up. So let's go to our JavaScript file and let's start writing the code. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add an event listener for the mouse down event and we need to add it to the tabs list element. So let's type tabs list dot add event listener and let's type mouse down and here let's create an arrow function. Now when we press down the mouse button, we need to start the dragging process. So for that, let's create a variable called dragging and by default, we will set it to false. And when we press down the mouse button, we need to set the dragging variable to true. So let's type dragging equals true. Now the next thing we will do is so we will add the event listener for the mouse up event. Now we will add that to the document. So let's type document dot add event listener because the mouse up event can happen anywhere on the screen. So let's type mouse up and here let's create an arrow function and here I'll just set the dragging variable to false. So let's type dragging equals false. Now the next thing we will do is add the event listener for the mouse move event. So let's tap tabs list dot add event listener mouse move and for this we'll create a function called drag so let's create the function over here. So I'll just tap const drag equals. Now in this function, the first thing we need to do is we need to check whether the dragging variable is true or false. So let's tap if and if the dragging variable is false, we don't need to do anything. So let's tap exclamation dragging. This means that if the dragging variable is false and if it is false, I'll just return. So this will just return out of this function. And if this condition is false, that is if the dragging variable is true, then the rest of the code will execute. Now this event listener gives us some data. So we need to access that over here. So I'll just call this variable E. You can name this anything you want. And we need to get a data called movement X. And we need to add that to the scroll value. So let's type tabs list dot scroll left minus equals. And let's tap E dot movement X. And now let's see whether it works. So let's go back to our design. And if I drag this, we can see that the tabs list is moving, but it doesn't move with the correct speed. So if you go back to our style CSS file, here we can see for the tabs list, which is the UL, we have added a scroll behavior of smooth. And if I remove that, and now if I go back to the design and if I drag, we can see that it drags correctly. So we need to remove this uh, scroll behavior from smooth to auto when we drag. So let's uncomment this and we'll create a class for that. So let's tap scrollable tabs container ul dot and we'll create a class called dragging. And when we are dragging, we'll just set the scroll behavior to auto. Now what we need to do is we need to go back to the main.js file and uh, here we need to add the dragging class. So let's type tabs list dot class list dot add dragging. And uh, when we have this mouse up event, 
we need to remove the dragging class so let's type tabs list dot class list dot remove dragging right now let's go back to our design and let's see whether everything works all right so we can see that the dragging is working all right and if i click on these arrows we have the smooth scrolling applied now there's one last thing we need to fix which is uh, we have this uh, right arrow and left arrow divisions and it has a width of uh, i think it is 200 pixels it is 100 pixels so now if we click on this uh, live tab it doesn't get selected so we have to click it outside this 100 pixels so we need to fix that the same goes with this right arrow over here we cannot click on comedy over here we have to click after this 100 pixels width so what we will do is we'll just set the pointer events to none for the right and the left arrow so let's go back to the style or css file and here let's type pointer events and let's set it to none now we need to have the actual icon clickable so right now it is not clickable so let's go over here to the svg so here in the svg let's type pointer events and let's set it to auto right now let's go back to our design and now if we click over here we can see that the comedy tag is selected and even the buttons are working all right so that's basically how you can add the drag functionality to this uh, scrollable slider all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day